What's up, YouTube? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, we got another video we finna react to. We got this Mexican, Hispanic, um, Latin, you know, I'm not sure, whatever he like to call himself, you know? But he a Southsider. If y'all ain't familiar with what a Southsider is, that's pretty much Mexicans that gang bang on, on the southern border compared to the northern border, you know? Like North Cal, SoCal, stuff like that. And he pretty much calling out uh, Trap Lord Ross. Now, why this is important to me is because, like what I stated, he's a Mexican. And anytime something come up with somebody calling out Trap Lord Ross, they always got something to say about, oh, if it was a black person or he's white and, you know, just always play the black versus white, white versus black. But now we got a brown individual, you know, expressing his feelings. So he's pretty much on the outside just looking in. And I mean, from a race perspective, now he come off like he got a street background. So he not just an outsider when it comes to the street perspective. However, if he could have his opinion as a Mexican about how a white person indulges into black culture, black street culture, then I mean, a lot of people can really either choose to be more honest with their thinking or just follow what the next person do, what they thinking. So let's lock in. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Keep it a Benji for me. If not, don't jump in. Let's go. Interviewing Trap Lord Ross. For those that are, you know, confused and don't know who that is, I'm confused too. I'm not sure uh, what nationality he is, but he looks like a wood. But look, that's the guy that does documentaries on gangsters. You know, that's the guy that does documentaries on uh, real street rappers. You know, uh... He wears glasses. He looks like a nerd. But yet, he drops videos on dudes that are outside playing ball. And tell you the truth, I don't know how to feel about that because I understand business is business. But at the same time, I understand that a lot of people out here uh, are living real lives while somebody like this is actually being a culture vulture. Right? Let's go. Or his the uh, the Malcolm Stuckey murder that he beat, they didn't mind all of that stuff. But it was the KI thing that they really didn't want me talking about. So they pressed me. I took it out. Gave me my videos back. They didn't delete my channel, and that was kind of it until Von passed away. And you know, Von passed away. That was like it's going to sound crazy, but like to, in a way that. And you know what, Trap Lord Ross. Me personally, I totally understand what you just tried to do right there. That whole trying to sway people's mindset, trying to, you know, put this cloud over the situation, you know, acting like raise this whole question, like why this and not that? What's more about what's more important about this case and not that? Like I seen through that, man, and I'm sure other people caught that too. This is why I be saying it's hard for you. It's hard for us to believe that you are just a real genuine caring fan. When every time some come up, you try to like, you know, put a person in a bad light. It was like 9-11 to me, bro. It's like you remember where you were when 9-11 happened. Like I remember exactly where I was when I found out Von died. Like that. That's because he's a fanboy. He a fanboy. He loves uh, black rappers. He a fanboy. That's why he remembers where he was at and what he was doing. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But he a fat boy. Crazy news. Like, so unexpected, bro. I couldn't, couldn't believe that Von passed away. So, uh, yeah, like, I kind of... After Von died, in my head, I was kind of like, you know what, it's fair game. Like, I'm going to talk about... I'm going to do another video about Von. He's not even here anymore. So I did that. 
This is the definition of a culture vulture. All right. He said that King Von passed away and he felt like it was fair game. Fair game. Oh, he dead now, so I could say and do whatever I want. That's a culture vulture. He is basically defining the word culture vulture. And see, that statement is totally different from the statement she was up there making at No Jumper News with Sharp. When Sharp was confronting you, you know, you was acting like you just a soul team, Vaughn, and this, that, and the third. And you don't got no love for somebody if you want to kick them when they down or if you want to take advantage of them or get at them in a certain way when they're not around to be able to clear stuff up or just to defend themselves. And like you said, it was more about Vaughn was dead and it's fair game. That's kind of foul because ain't nothing fair about speaking about a person who can't speak their part. If you watch this entire video... He says that he's tried to do King Von videos in the past while King Von was alive and he would always get flagged and demonetized, right? Right. So he kept trying. It kept going down. Finally, he died and he's sitting there like this. Time to get money. Time to talk about him. Time to get this bread. He dead anyways. Who gonna do something? Who gonna say something? Let's get this bag. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. And if you don't see that, then you lost. Because that's exactly what he's saying. Did the Von Serial Killer documentary and that same dude from uh, from Empire hit me up, threatening me again, talking about like... Well, hold on, hold on. Did you have anything in there that they could actually use for copyright strikes? Like, like you know, like, like no. they can't just copyright strike you because they don't like a video. That's what they did, man. I don't know how they did it. Like, I think they had some kind of insider at YouTube that helped them file the strikes because it's like uh, back at the time, like back when I, that happened, I was a much smaller YouTuber. I probably had a couple hundred K. So like I didn't have someone at YouTube that I could speak to. Like now I got over a million subs. I, I got like a partner manager that I can talk to about this type of shit. But back then I didn't. And it, they literally said your video contains copyrighted content, crazy story owned by Empire Records, zero minutes to 12 minutes. And the, the crazy story ain't even a 12-minute song. I, it, crazy to this day, I don't know how. Like, I think Empire Records should be held criminally liable for this uh, illegal use of YouTube's copyright system, if I'm honest with you. But, like, I don't think that shit would fly now. But, um, yeah, they basically lied and said the song Crazy Story was in the video, which it absolutely, I would never put the song Crazy Story in there. But, see, one thing that I gather from the whole situation about all that taking these videos down, whether it's real, fake, whatever, however they went about it, that's a clear sign of Vaughn and his team and people that's close to Vaughn not liking your work. So you really just telling the truth out of your own words. Like people over there that's on team Vaughn, on Vaughn team wasn't in favor of your work. But when he died, you did what you did. Culture vulture. Everything's covered by fair use. But anyway, the funny thing happened is like when I did the Von Serial Killer documentary, that same dude from Empire hit me up being way more aggressive. And this time he was saying, like, I'm going to beat your face in. I'm going to beat you up. Like, wait till we catch you and all this stuff. Um, and they were trying to, I guess they couldn't do the fake copyright claims against me again. So they just started like flagging my video for. All right. This is the part that has me confused. Look. All right, I understand the guy that's hitting them up, telling them, hey, take these videos down, right? He a street motherfucker, right? He from the streets. He he a rugged gangster, right? And this is a little nerdy white boy, right? All right, I understand the little white boy is, he thinks it's funny. He thinks it's a game. He doesn't think he's bothering nobody. He doesn't think that he's uh, uh, hurting anyone's life, right? In all true reality, he is. Because the people he's talking about, not only are they deceased, rest in peace, but he's also talking about court cases. He's talking about people's children. Uh, he's talking about uh, people in the penal system. He's talking about real street shit. Now, the other guy is telling them, hey, take these videos down. 
And this guy's not wanting to. So it's like, all right, when I see you, I'm going to break your face in. I understand that frustration being from the streets, right? All right. At least this little white boy right here shows his face. At least he shows his face. So even though he might be a culture vulture, I will give him respect for not being a scary ass vato and showing his face. And I will. You know what? I'm a second that and I'm going to give him his credit there too. Because there's a lot of channels that be just as disrespectful as Trap Lord Ross, if not even more. But they don't even have the courage to put their face out there. You know? And I'm not saying that you got to put your face out there. But if you're going to be disrespectful, then it just makes it look like you are a coward. I'll tell you why. He knows what might come behind him making videos, right? He knows that someday somebody might see him, oh, you're Trap Lord Ross, you're the one that disrespected King Von, or you're the one making videos knowing that my boy rest in peace. You're the one making videos talking about this guy died, that guy died. Let's get his ass. They might fuck him up. They might kill him, right? But he, he has the balls to show his face. Salute. But listen, we're not going to entertain this video too long because... He goes off to cloud chase and talk about culture vulture stuff. And to tell you the truth, I just wanted to get this off my chest uh, because I know a lot of real ones go through this. All right, so there you go. That's the video. Y'all pretty much got the whole point. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Keep it a Benji for me. If not, don't jump in. Shout out to Haters World for the video. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm out. Shh. <laughs>